uh, I will do a bit more scientific uh, presentation on uh, medical microbiology. This, uh, you see, uh, it's, uh, it's an inspiring career for an inquisitive mind because it's an interface between two worlds. Because microbes came to exist in the world before us and they are still there trying to overrule. And my friend Dr. Jayaratma was talking about COVID, then we see how microbes were trying to rule the world. Just a few months ago, almost all the specialists were talking about COVID. They had something to do about the virus. So we see we need manpower to control microbes. So we work at the interface between the real world and the microbial world. And we have to help a lot of other specialists. And we have opportunities as uh, clinical microbiologists working in hospitals or virologists. Some of the virologists are working at research institutes and some of us work at uh, hospitals. Parasitologists, mycologists, immunologists and the opportunities are there in the Ministry of Health as well as universities, medical faculties and other faculties as well. Um, forces, private sector opportunities are there and overseas. There are a lot of opportunities because when we complete our degree, we have uh, we can easily sit for the overseas examinations and qualify as consultants overseas. And uh, what should you have to become a consultant in microbiology? You have to have an enthusiasm for a challenging and a rewarding profession, as well as uh, uh, you have to have enthusiasm in detecting, curing, and preventing because we have all aspects, cl clinical treatment as well as preventive aspects involved in infectious diseases and we should be able to seek new knowledge and acquire skill. You have to be critically thinking because you have to be able to foresee because all the organisms now even COVID, if uh, microbiologists could not identify it, the world will never know what's happening. So you should be able to foresee and analyze problems and the new developments because the microbial world is ever evolving. It's changing, you, know, you should face challenges. And as long as microbes are there, micro, microbiologists will not be jobless. And we have to be team players as well as team leaders because we have to deal with a lot of different categories of staff. And again, final aim will be to improve patient care. That is the final goal of a microbiologist. At whatever the level you work, you will have to have patience and commitment to improve patient care. So our training is in several steps, a selection exam, diploma, and the MD and the uh, post MD training, like the other specialties and board certification. So you have to have all the basic criteria, a medical degree and one year internship one year full-time post-intern experience and uh, selection examination it's a basic exam basically at the undergraduate level third mb level we have essay and mtf type mcq questions it's an annual intake uh, so we train about 12 people from the government sector as well as from the private sector so you have to pass this exam to get in if you're in the private sector um, forces, you have to apply for the same examination and pass the examination, the minimum 50%. And then we have to decide the number we take depending on the vacancies available from the government sector. And we take the lowest mark from the government sector. And if you have taken above that, that mark or the above, we will be selecting from the uh, private sector as well. So diploma course is about 14 months in service training, a taught course about nine months because uh, microbiology is a vast uh, field. So we will be introducing different modules, bacteriology, virology, parasitology, which uh, is at a higher level than what you have already learned at uh, medical school. So uh, it will be basically at the Medical Research Institute, but you'll be sent to the reference laboratories at different levels 
maybe government uh, ministry of health or university laboratories to learn about specific items uh, specific uh, subjects and then you will be sent to uh, hospital basically a teaching or general hospital to learn about the clinical practice basically in the laboratory but uh, you'll be learning how they process the things and help the clinical aspect at that level and then there will be CPD activities so the exam will be at the end of the course you will have to have attendance and a portfolio maintenance and think about reflective practice also because it's a continuous education and continuous assessment end of the course you will be sitting this exam and enter the MD program you have to pass this exam and then become a member of the Sri Lanka College of Microbiologist and this will qualify you for the grade button as well the MD course in medical microbiology it begins soon after because uh, the diploma exam is usually in December so we start the course in microbiology January if you are starting to become a microbiologist, you have to do the MD course and you can't postpone it for more than four years. You have to do within the four years. And the duration is two years and nine months. Hospital-based clinical appointments are there because basically this is about medical microbiology. I'm not talking about the ramifications at the moment. Uh, so you have to be trained as a microbiologist uh, for four, uh, four hospital rotations as well as uh, special appointments, workshops and research projects are there and the MD examination is at the end of the third year. If you are trying to offer different pathways after diploma, you can do virology or parasitology depending on the vacancies available and uh, if there are many people opting based on the rank you obtain at the diploma level and after MD also you can uh, choose another subspecialty mycology or immunology based on the vacancies available. Step 4 is the post MD training and board certification. So if it is uh, medical microbiology, virology or parasitology uh, one year local training is essential after that you will be going for overseas training essential one year you may stay up two years if you're doing exams and all that and then other options are mycology immunology two years of local training and one year compulsory overseas training and after all you'll have a final viva based on the portfolio what are the difficulties you have vacancies only now at at uh, provincial, district, and up to base hospital levels, and uh, having to offer support, you have to work in many different specialties because uh, whatever the different subspecialties you do, you have to advise them on infection control about uh, whatever the problems that arise, crisis management and built environment related problems. You have to work with engineers, you have to go and assess situations. And even the community level, you have to do a lot of uh, supportive work. So that is a difficult job. Uh, on the brighter side, you work at ICU level, you work at ward level, you work at laboratory level. And infection prevention and control, almost all the departments in the hospital will be under your care for the infection prevention control, as well as a lot of uh, patient safety work and uh, occupational health safety all those things people will come to you so you'll have to offer advice and as administrators you will be the administrator of the laboratory microbiology laboratory or the virology or whatever which is under your care so you'll be working with machines you'll be working with people as well as different microbes so it's an interesting job lot of teaching opportunities because almost from medical student level many specialties send their trainees to us for different levels of 
training. So it will be a invariable part of your job teaching and lot of opportunities for research. And then you can win friends because you will be working with a lot of other categories of people at different levels, health as well as non-health, maybe engineering, environment at different levels. So that's all that I have to say. So it's your decision. 